As AI grows stronger, the problem of verifying personhood becomes ever more important. My non-trivial project aims to address this, both in the short and long term. Bots infiltrating our online platforms have caused many problems. Disinformation and propaganda have been spread, giving significant political power to people who run bots, which could be seen in the 2016 election, for example. Also, with the rise of troll farms, online safety has been threatened as cyber harassment and visibility manipulation have been automated through bots, reducing the ability to have meaningful discussions online. This also ties into digital human rights, as access to an open environment with freedom of speech and expression is diluted by spam bots. Finally, trust. People need to feel and know that our systems are secure and privacy-preserving, as this forms the foundation of all human interaction. A CAPTCHA is a digital Turing test, distinguishing between bots and humans. Traditional CAPTCHAs include image, text, and audio recognition, such as reCAPTCHA and hCAPTCHA. Modern alternatives also include challenge-based methods, such as Cloudflare's Turnstile, where your computer proves you're not a bot, and honeypots, which are off-screen fields which humans cannot see, but bots fill out. There has been a long AI CAPTCHA arms race, with CAPTCHA developers trying to keep up with the development of more powerful AIs. At this point, there aren't many tasks humans are better than AIs at. Also, challenge-based and standard biometric-based methods are generally considered weak. See my web paper for more information on this topic, along with a list of CAPTCHA solvers. Long-term CAPTCHA security is completely different when you take AGI into consideration. This requires us to abandon task-based CAPTCHAs with a new approach grounded in biological properties unique to humans. There have been attempts at making this, such as Bright ID, IDENA, and WorldCoin, but each of these lacks some important aspect – security, privacy, accessibility, or decentralization. For my pre-AGI solution, I focused on building a scalable, accessible, secure CAPTCHA. The next generation of CAPTCHAs will be multimodal meaning that they test multiple skills at once. They are generally game-based, with one partial example from a research paper shown here. While some companies like Lemon are working on this, I could not find any robust ai resistant implementations used in the real world, and very few are being developed in research, making the marginal impact of this project potentially very large. Many websites still rely on weak captures, like reCAPTCHA and hCAPTCHA. I developed fun capture a game-based capture where you drag animals to the correct side. It incorporates image and text recognition along with physical movement of the mouse. This makes it near impossible for a standard reinforcement learner to beat this game due to the huge numbers of possibilities. In addition, it is highly scalable with multiple options including collision detection and category customization. This particular instance of fun capture may be beatable with a custom-made AI that connects multiple agents together but it can easily be scaled up in difficulty to any desired level of security. Next steps for fun capture include adding more security customization options and building a sample backend to show how to integrate it into a real-life auth flow. In the future, I would like to patent this and potentially market this product, either providing it for free or donating the profits to EA charities. Now we turn to the post-AGI period, where we will be focusing on personhood authentication, given that AIs can do everything humans can do. While current CAPTCHAs are essentially ineffective, AGIs will render all traditional task-based CAPTCHAs completely obsolete, meaning that personal authentication must be granted in human biology. One important theoretical result regarding this is the ghost trilemma, which states that a verification system cannot simultaneously guarantee sentience, location, and uniqueness. I have decided to circumvent this by foregoing location, which is the current state of the person, in exchange for greater privacy and accessibility. My system is called the Personal Authentication Network. It consists of two parts, biology and cryptography, which are entirely independent. Any implementation of biology can be integrated with any method of cryptography. Here you can see the criteria I used in evaluating potential methods for both biology and cryptography. More information regarding this can be found in my white paper. I've discussed eight possible methods in my white paper, ranging from DNA to palm recognition. These are not mutually exclusive. They can be easily combined and modified to create a more robust system. Moreover, it does not need to be rigid. Different methods can be used for different people within the same system, which allows for accessibility if someone is unable to provide a certain property. My white paper contains a detailed description of a distributed, secure, privacy-preserving blockchain system. Each person has a public signature and a private secret, where the former is used to identify them 
and the latter is used to authenticate. Here's a diagram of how entrance works. The network calculates the secret with distributed computing and majority verification, so nobody except the original user ever stores the entire secret and malicious takeover is impossible. In the end, the network verifies the signature is correct, along with a SHA-256 hash of the person's DNA, so no fake or double entries can be created. This also allows for a fallback in case someone's secret gets stolen. They can expire their previous entry for a new one. Verification is much faster. Once you're in the system, there is a simple zero-knowledge proof protocol that you undertake with a verifier, which can be done in seconds with a correct secret, but is impossible without it. I would like to do more deep dives into the biology part, as I've taken a relatively shallow look at each method. I would also like to develop better security for the secret, since it is the keystone that holds this system together. In addition, I am planning on posting this on EA forums for feedback, and potentially publishing this as a research paper.